Hey guys, welcome to River Geeks and thank you for joining us. Today's video is part three in a series on 2D hydraulic modeling with SMS. Today, we're gonna look at how to create a materials coverage. Picking up where we left off in SMS Basics Part 2, we're going to right click on our mesh generator coverage, duplicate that, and rename it Materials. So this doesn't change the coverage type, so after we rename it, we're going to have to change that as well. So right click on it, go to Type, Models, SRH2D, and then click Materials. Now this is a Materials coverage. Uh, we need more to work with, so let's get an aerial photo in here. Click on File and go to Import from Web or Add Online Map. I like the World Imagery. It's going to come in pretty dark though, so after this loads, we're going to need to change our transparency. So you can right click on the image, uh, select Transparency, and then change that to about 50%. It's going to allow us to see all of our feature objects really clearly. Um, and then we're going to add a material list. Uh, so you will bring in a window like this and then you can add as many materials as you like. I'm going to start with the channel. I'm also going to need a grass area. This is short grass. So you may have more zones than I do. I've only got a few in this model that I need to create. I got an industrial area. And then you can change the color scheme to this. Um, I like to have a bright color scheme because when I create a, our hydraulic reports, I like to add a figure that shows um, the material zones like in a map or something. And if you've got a, a bright color palette, it really pops out of a report and looks real nice. So I like the bright colors. The FHWA's video on this, they suggest having a color scheme that kind of imitates the the earth tones from an aerial photo. That makes sense too, but I've been working with this color palette for um, a while, so I'm familiar with what each of these colors represent in my model. Uh, next, you're going to need to define a Manning's value for each one of these zones that you've created. You can use a source like this. This is a, a, ch a chart from Chow, or you could use the HICRAS hydraulic reference manual I'll put a link to each one of those in the description so you, you can uh, use that at your own convenience um, and then uh, we need to define our end values for each one of these zones and then after we do that we're going to have to define the zones themselves so zoom in on an area that you want to work in and then grab your create feature art tool and you're going to do kind of like this you're just going to trace for example this bank this uh, tree line rather and then after you do that, you can go to Feature Objects, Build Polygons, and then you can select this polygon, double click it, uh, and then assign it whatever you'd like. Uh, after you do that, if you want to see how uh, it looks, you can go to the Fill, and then this will show you which one of the polygons has been assigned and which one hasn't. So everything that's hatched is an unassigned polygon. Um, I've got a lot of polygons that I need to create, so I'm going to turn this off so I can focus more on my aerial photo, and then we're just going to trace each tree line, the pasture areas, if there's any channel areas that I need to create, we can do that too. Just speeding it up here for the sake of time. This part of the video is dedicated to the people that don't like music in our videos, okay? Okay, we love the music. If you want something boring, all right, you can go somewhere else. I'm just kidding. Please don't go anywhere else. Just bear with me. We're going to get through this together. It's a little bit loud. Okay, it's a little loud. I'll, I'll turn it down. All right, I'll, how do you turn this down? Hey, Timmy! Timmy, how do you turn down the volume? The volume on the video? It's just too loud, man. Hey, just turn it down a little bit. Help. Can you turn it down? All right, so um, where were we? All right, so let's build polygons for all of the material zones that we've outlined. And then we can select each one of them 
If you press your shift key, you can multi-select. So here I'm just trying to select all of the, the tree zones. And you may have to zoom in a little bit on some of these. Um, but here I've got a polygon that is not something wrong. So if you zoom in, you can see uh, that my feature arc is broken. So this material zone is disconnected. And before I panic, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, type to the zones that I had selected. And then to fix this issue, you can move this node over, connect it, and then rebuild polygons. And that puts us back on track. So let's go ahead and uh, add a material to this zone. This is grass. And then I'm not sure where I left off, so I'm going to go back to my display options. I'm going to turn the fill on, and this is going to tell me which zones have been assigned and which ones are unassigned. Um, so still there's a, a lot of zones that haven't been assigned tree type, so I'm going to go back to doing that, selecting all the trees. And then once you get through this zone, then you can go to all the grass areas and try to assign all those um, your roadway embankments, pavement, whatever zones are unassigned. You just want to select each one of them and assign a material to each one of these zones. Speed up the video a little bit here. Trying to keep this one under 10 minutes for you guys. So once you get through this, you're going to want to check to make sure that each zone has been assigned. So as this material or as this video slows down a little bit, I'll zoom in and there's an unassigned zone. So you want to um, just go through, zoom in, you know, some of these polygons are really small and they're easy to miss. Select each one of these. This is my channel. Uh, just double check, make sure you've got all of the material zones assigned the material type. And that is how you create a materials coverage in SMS for an SRH2D hydraulic model. When you're finished, make sure you save your work. Uh, you don't want to lose that. Please subscribe to the channel if this was helpful. And remember to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. The Bible says we should help one another. Therefore, let's help one another. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoy this, like I said, please subscribe, give us a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. Um, if you have any questions about anything, please hit us in the comments.